As Baldwin County students head back to school next week, a clear message from one local police chief. Leave your vapes at home. Spanish Fort Police tell WKRG News 5's Whitney Leibold that this year every vape found will be tested for other drugs and there will be extreme consequences if the vapes test positive for drugs. A table full of vapes. District-wide, Baldwin County Public Schools confiscated an estimated 280 vapes last school year. That's about eight each week of the school year. Spanish Fort Police Chief John Barber says it's time to put a stop to this. Every vape that we would come across, regardless of the circumstances, that we're going to test it not just for THC, but also for fentanyl, cocaine, there's a multitude of other things that could possibly be in the vape. Chief Barber showed us the test that'll be used at Spanish Fort High School and Middle School this upcoming school year. It's very simple. We put it in about midway and there's two little capsules in here. So that has a solution that's going to react with our test sample. And this test turned blue, meaning that it tested positive for THC and that student would be arrested on the spot. And vapes aren't the only things being tested. And then we're seeing drugs being put on other things, gummies, chocolates, all kinds of like, you know, treats and stuff that they're lacing with different narcotics. And so sometimes people are being exposed to them that don't even know or don't want to be exposed to them. And so we want them out of our schools. Assistant Superintendent Joe Sharp wants students to know the possible consequences. If there's criminal charges, you know, because we have SROs on campus now, if they're there and they see that it, it is a drug, an illegal drug on campus and charges are pressed, then we're looking at expulsion. Both the police chief and assistant superintendent say this is a conversation that should start at home between parents and their children. In Spanish Fort, Whitney Leibel, WKRG News 5.